This first photo is of Tyke, a circus elephant that suffered abuse from her owners for many decades. On August 20th, 1994, during a show in Honolulu, Hawaii, she killed her trainer and seriously injured another. Despite efforts to restrain her, she escaped. For 30 minutes, she had freedom, rampaging Honolulu. Police intervened and shot at the elephant a total of 87 times, killing her. An odd-looking teddy bear not made from traditional means. This was created from a stitched-together woman's placenta not too long after she gave birth. This is actually more common than you think, with other objects being made with such a vital organ during pregnancy. Those aren't just simple tree decorations, but hollowed-out graves for human infants. Villagers of Tana Toraja in Indonesia do this as part of a ritual, allowing the bodies to be absorbed back into nature. Shown here is one of several photos a Reddit user named Lumberjack posted about a hidden crawl space he found in his attic. Inside was lots of carpeting and a small painted door that happened to be locked. But, not being able to sleep soundly with the possible contents inside, Lumberjack managed to unlock it. Within the room were various outlets, a briefcase, and a safe. Inside the briefcase were two small boxes, pieces of silver, and envelopes containing money from various countries and origins. But inside the safe were a pile of VHS tapes, with writing on them. Stuff like, no no no. Most creepy of all was a paper note reading, save yourself. We still don't know what was on those tapes and Lumberjack turned everything into the police. This is former First Lady Rosalind Carter shaking hands with a fellow politician. What's his name you ask? John Wayne Gacy. Yes, that one. The guy who dressed up as a clown and murdered children. What's even more shocking is that this photo was taken in 1978, when he had already killed 20. Most haunting of all is that Rosalind even signed the photo, stating, To John Gacy, best wishes, Rosalind Carter. Gacy was finally arrested later that year, not before murdering another 13. This is a moth that was taken over by the Cordyceps fungus. Many will recognize it more as a zombie fungus, as it influences its host to move to higher ground and sink its jaws into a tree. Once the insect dies, spores of the fungus will sprout from different areas of its body. Spore particles will be showered below, continuing the cycle. This can affect many different insects, mainly ants, but also grasshoppers, beetles, and even tarantula. A seemingly normal family photo taken in Sweden in 1971, except that the boy second from the right in the tan shirt is actually Osama bin Laden. I don't need to explain what he's known for. This was a note left up by a serial killer known as the Lipstick Killer. He got this name as a note was written on the walls of one of his victims. His real name was William Herons, and he was only 17 when he murdered three of the women between the years of 1945 and 1946. The message states, For heaven's sake, catch me before I kill more. I cannot control myself. Shown as one of many photos taken during the 19th century of American efforts to wipe out American bison populations, this was done in turn to harm the Native American populations as they relied on the buffalo as a natural resource, not just for food, but for clothing, art, tents, and more. A worn and tattered shirt of a missing Minnesota boy named Jacob Wetterling. He vanished in October 1989, and nothing was found of him for over 27 years. That was until a person of interest named Danny Heinrich had his home searched and police found CP. He agreed to a plea deal and showed them the remains of Jacob, who was mostly bone, his jersey, and other torn clothes items. This photo from 1967 shows what was left of Soviet test pilot Vladimir Komarov. He was the only one on the spacecraft Soyuz 1, which had technical problems. When landing, the parachute failed, causing the capsule to crash to the ground. He became the first person to die in space flight. His body was so badly damaged that the only thing identifiable in his corpse was his heel bone. This might seem like some weird looking art installation, but it's much more. This is a parasitic worm surgically removed from an elderly woman's intestines, specifically a large round worm which can grow up to 350 millimeters or 14 inches long. There are other worms like this that can grow much larger, however. Now while this might just seem like an innocent photo, this was posted as a Craigslist ad with possible ill intentions. The post reads, Hey kids, if you were in the Greenville area, come to To get all the free candies, toys, and video games that you want, you will see a red minivan parked outside. Just ring the bell and you will be invited into this super exclusive club. No parents allowed. When you ring the bell, just say the password extreme and you're in. Whoever posted this was never caught and it was simply reported a few times and taken down. Who knows if they ever made another attempt to lure in kids. 
The final photograph of Robert Landsberg, right before his tragic end. During 1980, he began taking many trips to Mount St. Helen due to how active the volcano was becoming. This ended up being a bad idea as it suddenly erupted, releasing a massive amount of ash into the air. Landsberg took this photo knowing he would not make it out alive, covering his backpack to protect the camera from the approaching ash cloud. The last known photo taken of actor Paul Walker. Here he is climbing into the Porsche of his friend Roger Rodas. The two are driving through the neighborhood of Santa Clarita, California doing double the speed limit. It's reported that they went nearly 90 miles an hour in a speed zone of 45. The car ended up crashing onto a concrete lamppost and two trees, almost immediately catching fire. They both died and their bodies were burned beyond recognition. This screenshot was from a live stream started up by a 4chan user named Steven. He posted on the site hours before saying he wanted to end his life, and asked suggestions for what website to stream it on. While some strongly discouraged him, just as many egged him on, making suggestions. Steven ended up streaming on Chatine, while the chat filling up to the maximum users. He downed a shot of vodka and pills, eventually setting his room on fire to finish the job. But luckily, firefighters came in and saved his life. He only suffered minor burns and seemingly recovered. You might not believe this, but what you're looking at is a piglet, a mutated one affected by the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. It had dipigus, a disease that twists and contorts the torso and other body parts. This also led it to sprout extra limbs, namely its feet. This mutated pig is still on display at the Ukrainian National Chernobyl Museum in Kiev. This crazy man is Robert Overacker, a professional stuntman who risked his life on multiple occasions for worthy causes. This stunt was to raise awareness for the homeless, but he could have done it in a less deadly stream of water. Here he is driving a jet ski down Niagara Falls, with his parachute failing to open. Robert died once hitting the bottom. Another photo taken from Niagara Falls. This couple here is Andrea Smith and Jason Watson, who unintentionally just captured someone else's final photo before death. That's because behind them was Ayana Tokumasu, an exchange student from Japan taking time off from her busy life. She decided to go get a better view of the falls by climbing up on the railing, which was a fatal mistake. Ayana lost her footing and fell down almost 80 feet, with that in the swift current killing her. Shown here is the last photo ever taken of Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. This occurred on the night of May 21, 1991, when he was preparing to give a speech during an election campaign. But while walking towards the stage, various onlookers came over to greet him, one of which being a woman named Danu, I think that's how you pronounce it. She bent down to touch Gandhi's feet before detonating the explosives on her belt, that she hid under her dress. This explosion killed Danu, Gandhi, and 14 others, with others in the vicinity being severely injured. One of those killed was this photographer who took a few other photos leading up to the bombing. It's surprising that this camera survived. One of the many eerie photos taken by Chris Kremers and Lindsay Froon after getting lost in the forest of Baru Volcano in Panama. They went missing on April 1st, 2014 after not returning from this trek, with their bodies not being found until months later. Many photos were taken during this, which start out as normal photos of the two and scenery around them. Photos in the dark jungle and a photo of Chris's back head. Most mysterious is a missing photo from their camera roll, which could have had a big clue. Did somebody kill them or did the elements of the jungle do it? You've probably seen this man's face before without knowing the context. This is a shell-shocked soldier hiding in the trenches. During the Battle of Flares Corselet, it was taken in September 1916 during the heat of the Great War also known as World War I. Many soldiers suffered this fate, being known today as post-traumatic stress disorder. A family photo of Thomas Whitaker with his brother Kevin and mother Patricia. His father Ken had taken the photo at a restaurant they went to on December 10th, 2003. It was to celebrate Thomas finishing up college, even though, in reality, he had dropped out months before and not told them. Later that night, he hired two of his buddies to assassinate his family, with only Ken surviving. He is currently serving a life sentence. This photo depicts Michael Mandel and his friend, Tyler Hadley, the one holding the orange cup. This is at a house party Tyler was throwing since his parents seemingly weren't home, but that wasn't true. In the evening of July 16, 2011, Tyler murdered both his parents and dragged their bodies into the master bedroom. After cleaning up all the blood, he invited a bunch of mostly random kids over to his house. He actually told some of them about the murders, to which they brushed him off. He showed the bodies to Michael, who did not leave. 
He continued partying with Tyler, taking a selfie as it would be the last time they would hang out. Michael then went to the police hours later, getting Tyler arrested. Shown here is a young man named Pavel Kashin who fell to his death while attempting a parkour move. The St. Petersburg resident was trying to backflip from the top of an apartment building, but instead ended up falling 200 feet to the pavement below. That boy falling out of the plane is Keith Satford, who was only 14 years old. By February 1970, he decided to run away from his boarding school and see the world. Keith soon sneaked onto the tarmac of Sydney International Airport. He hid inside the plane, which was departing to Tokyo, but once the plane took off, he fell. The shot was taken by photographer John Gilpin, who happened to be casually taking photos while waiting for his flight. Keith died upon hitting the ground. What seems to be a perfectly normal scuba diving photo was taken off the coast of Queensland, but this was actually a recovery mission for the fellow diver who lays motionless on the sea floor. That's Tina Watson, who was on a honeymoon with her recently married husband, Gabe Watson. During a dive, she lost consciousness and began sinking quickly, with Gabe seemingly coming to her aid. Now this part is contested, but it's argued that he briefly turned a tank off and held her down until she became unconscious. This killed her and Gabe swam back up to the surface to say she needed help. This was particularly odd because he had training as a rescue diver, but not much evidence was found for the case and he only served a year in jail for manslaughter due to a plea deal. This was taken during the aftermath of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. During the devastation, 80,000 people lost their lives. In an instance, the temperature went over 10,000 degrees, leaving nothing but smoke. Surfaces hidden by something were visible as haunting shadows. This is the group photo for the class of 1999 at Columbine High School. What's really eerie are the few students in the top left corner, pointing finger guns at the camera. Among them is Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, who would go on to commit the Columbine school massacre only two weeks later. In total, they killed 12 other students, a teacher, and themselves making it the deadliest school shooting at the time. And lastly, this photo shows 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz entering the first floor hallway at Stoneman Douglas High School on February 14th, 2018. Seconds later, he began a shooting spree, which ended the lives of 14 students and 3 teachers, along with injuring 17 others. Nicholas escaped, but was eventually captured by police. He was a disturbed individual who had previously joked about shooting up a school, and sadly it seemed not much was done in response. This surpassed Columbine as the deadliest school shooting of all time.